There is a worrying abundance of untapped potentials among the Nigerian youth population. Despite the often repeated phrase that the youths are the leaders of tomorrow, they are not being developed to enable them to fill such positions. To reverse these unfortunate statistics, UNESCO is collaborating with the Read and Earn Federation on the TAP project to empower young Nigerians in automobile training. Our strategic entry point intervention is to enroll 20 Nigerians from FCT Abuja into automobile training workshop. Speaking on the theme, the Nigerian youth's intellectual renaissance, most of the speakers emphasized the importance of intellectual capacity as a key to national unity and infrastructural development. The most significant point about the value of intellectual capacity building is for the individual or the youth to know who he or she is. I want the government to see, we, first of all, we are the best youth in the world. We are the best raw material. All you need to do is to polish us very well. If you discourage the youth, you are simultaneously destroying the nation. One of the 20 beneficiaries of the training, Rebecca Onyam, says she hopes to make a difference. My dad has a car and most times I feel very bad when the car is faulty and after taking it to a mechanic workshop, yet they are still not delivering the expected results. So it made me have that interest, wanting to do that, so that at least I would be able to do it better than they have done. Over one million young Nigerians across the six geopolitical zones have been targeted to be a part of the training spanning a 10-year period, which will elapse in 2026. Georgina Ndukwe, STV News.